Hello guys, my name is Arthur Parks and welcome to my channel. I'm a Pinoy ear nurse working here in Indiana. And for this video, pag-uusapan natin yung bago home specialty. So, please enjoy. So, just to give you guys a quick background, um, I still work in the emergency room. Um, next day, ako as PRN nurse, meaning I only work if there's a need or every month naglalabas sila ng parang needs. So I have an option to just pick up shifts kung kailan ko gusto. Um, you're not on the schedule, but you are required to work at least three shifts in, I think, one month. Parang ganun yung agreement as a PR nurse. So hindi ka plotted. So nasa sayo kung kailan mo gusto magtrabaho or whatever shift you wanted to work. For the most part, I just pick up at least one or two shifts in two weeks kasi bi-weekly yung, yung schedule so ganun yung ginagawa ko now I got a full-time position sa isa sa mga sa isa sa pinakamalaking um, specialty hospital here in Indiana so I am working as a cardiovascular emergency room nurse yes so yung hospital na yun um, part siya ng Indiana Heart Association Network so we get the STEMI yung mga non um unstable angina, anything that is related to heart. So, talagang nanaro nan yung, yung scope of practice into cardiovascular uh, problem. So, I'm on my fifth week of orientation. Ideally, uh, 12 weeks yung binibigay dapat sa mga, uh, mga bagong employee. But the good thing is, I came from the same um, hospital network, so parashring charging system namin, and I have an emergency room experience. So for the most part, lahat halos ng policy namin is the same. Ang kailangan ko lang talaga matutunan is um, yung secretary part, because unlike in my previous job that we have a secretary that sila yung nag, nag, nag register ng patient, sila yung um, nagpiprint ng mga paperwork, yung mga phone call, kung kailangan i transfer yung mga nitty gritty part ng, ng document and outside of patient care merong talagang gumagawa so yun yung kailangan ko matutunan um, yung, yung mag-register ka ng mga ng patient looking on uh, their history tapos sino yung kailangan tawagan sino yung kailangan kapag kailangan nila ng outpatient like follow up kailangan um, i-document din yun kailangan tawagan mo yung yung stress center Yung mga ganun, yung mga ibang procedure outside for follow-up. That's why I'm really thankful na nasanay ako dito sa, sa emergency room na pinagtatrabaho ko before na maraming patient parate for, for the most part. Um, in an average, I have like five or six patients and their level of acuity is really high. Um, minsan, level uh, two acuity, which is really sick patient, minsan dalawa tapos tatlong hindi masyadong um, uh, critical patients pero for the most part I can handle up to three yung medyo critical patients so nasanay ako sa ganong klase ng workload here in the heart center uh, we only have six beds yes yun yung magandang part kasi anim lang yung beds namin and there's always two nurses working and a medic so, ang um, um, patient care technician namin is a medic na sobrang laking tulong kasi medic technically can do everything. Ang hindi lang nilang kaya gawin is the, the actual documentation for the nurses. But sila, marunong sila mag-IV, kaya nila magbigay ng gamot, etc. So, sobrang laking help nun. Another thing is the charting. Here in the heart center, kailangan siguraduhin mo na naka-chart lahat ng ginawa mo sa pasyente. Well, um, if you only have like two patients at a time, it's easier for you to make sure na complete documentation. Unlike dun sa dati kong hospital na, yes, I'm I'm documenting everything, especially pag nagbago yung change ng condition ng patient. Like, if, say for example, nagkaroon ng uh, change to their condition na sobrang laking impact. Like, say for example, nagkaroon ng hypotension or biglang bumaba yung autoset ng pasyente, kailangan yung mag-intubate or nag-code, you need to make sure na properly documented lahat ng nangyari. Here, um, 
Pati yung mga maliliit na bagay na kailangan nyo i-document kung kunyari dalawa yung dalawa kayong nurses na pumunta sa room because you need to do an EKG and the other one is doing the triage, etc. So, lahat, lahat dito properly accounted and we do our own billing here in the heart center which is crazy part. Kasi ito yung hindi ko nakita nung nagtatrabaho ako sa dati kong hospital. Dahil dito, kayo yung nagbibill mismo sa pasyente. Like kung ano yung mga ginamit nila, kung ano yung level of care na binigay ninyo, kung anong level sila if they are considered to be critical. So, it's your responsibility na properly accounted lahat ng ginamit ninyo. And, kayo yung kailangan magdala sa pasyente ninyo sa taas. So, here, um, kahit say for example, hindi sila ganun critical, pero kailangan nilang ma-admit or they need to stay in the hospital then you always need to have like a cardiac monitor kailangan na sa bed sila kailangan properly indoor sila sa, sa intensive care unit or sa medical floor or the progressive care unit unlike sa dati kong trabaho na if they are stable enough then pwede yung technician yung, yung magdala sa taas sa pasyente and if it's an ICU patient na may drip or naka-intubate or naka-bypap then yung ICU nurse yung kailangan bumaba and sila yung kailangan magdala ng pasyente sa taas well I like yung yung rule dito kasi nga minsan may mga ibang uh, mga nurses na na delay yung pagkuha nila ng patient minsan itinawag mo na naibigay mo na lahat ng report but it takes like an hour an hour and a half ilang beses ka nang tumawag hindi pa rin nakukuha ng pasyente na hindi pa rin nakukuha yung pasyente sa ER which is very crucial because as much as possible you need to free the emergency room kailangan yung i-anticipate na there's a possibility na biglang may surge ng mga pasyente or bigla kayong makakuha ng critical so if you already have an admission order nakalagay na lahat call the report and bring the patient up or kung kailangan nila i-transfer then you need to do the transfer so what's a typical day like working in this specialty hospital so, kaparehas din nung nagtatrabaho pa ako sa kabila, um, medyo chaotic ang shift change. Yes, kasi nga, kinukuha niyo lahat ng information from the outgoing nurse and tinatanong niyo kung stable ba yung pasyente, ano yung pending labs, kung ano ba ba yung hinihantay, kung possible discharge, kung transfer, kung may bed. Yung lahat ng information na yun, uh, sa, technically sa endorsement. Here, since konti lang yung pasyente ninyo, for the most part, you're getting like three patient, yun yung parang max, or minsan four, kapag dalawa lang kayo at medyo critical yung isang pasyente, so minsan hanggang four. Pero yun yung pinaka marami na nakuha ko, uh, four patients. And so far, I'm really enjoying it kasi medyo relaxed yung environment. Um, you are less exposed to COVID. Kasi nga, tinatry nilang i-maintain na COVID-free yung facility kasi nga may mga uh, ginagawa na mga, mga bypass and then medyo mas malaki yung chance talaga na magkasakit yung mga pasyente namin lalo na kapag may COVID sila na inadmit. Um, so yun yung isang maganda kasi nga kahit pa paano, uh, less exposure to coronavirus pero Ginagawa pa rin naman namin lahat ng protocol for that. I mean, proper PPE if you're suspecting for a possible COVID. Another thing is, lahat ng mga dumarating from different hospital kasi we get a lot of direct admit. So, yung mga hospital galing from different counties na kailangan ng cardiac catheterization or any procedure concerning about the heart, minsan tinatransfer sa amin. Pagdaan nila sa emergency room before they go to the floor, kailangan just check yung pasyente kung stable ba yung pasyente kung nagkaroon ba ng change sa condition ng pasyente while they're transferring so siguraduhin mo lang na humihinga yung pasyente at hindi sila mag-aarest mag habang dinadala sila sa second floor or third floor or while they're waiting for cat lab um, we also have walk-in na mga pasyente at yun yung Minsan, kailangan namin i-transfer talaga kasi makakakuha kami ng, ng abdominal problem, yung mga may uh, bleeding, or if they're having um, 
shortness of breath, pero hindi naman siya heart related. Um, so, as an emergency room, hindi hindi mo naman pwedeng sabihin, ay hindi namin kayang gamutin to. So, kailangan talagang i-check nyo para yung pasyente, making sure that the patient's stable, and then you'll go ahead and arrange for a transfer. So, yun yung medyo, um, medyo process na kailangan mo talaga na hindi lahat kailangan i-admit ng sa hospital namin. So, while you're waiting for the transfer, kailangan alagaan nyo rin yung mga pasyente yun. So, we had an incident na shortness of breath and possible COVID. So, kailangan namin mag-antay ng ng available room dun sa kabilang hospital na kailangan namin pag-transfer rin. So, yun yung parang uh, additional task na kailangan yung gawin. Do I enjoy it? Yes! Um, sobrang lumalawak yung understanding and your knowledge mo when it comes to cardiovascular process. Lahat ng mga ng mga process, mga intervention, um, reading yung EKG, kaya, um, so, hindi ko sinasabi na Alam ko na lahat, pero for the most part, kaya ko na mag-identify kung may ST segment elevation, ST segment depression, kung bundle branch, kung sinus tap, yung mga basic EKG readings. So, yun yung something na talagang natututunan mo on a daily process. Kasi nga, you also use yung parang caliper report na measure nyo yung PQRS. So, that's something new. Am I gonna do this permanently? I don't know yet. Um, yun yung ganda sa nursing because you have a lot of avenues kung saan mo gustong mag-specialization. Um, but so far right now, I'm, I'm really enjoying the process of getting to know, learning a lot of stuff din sa, sa heart. Pero nag-pick up pa rin ako ng shift din sa dati kong hospital kasi dun talaga mahahasa yung skills mo as an emergency room nurse because you see everything like psych, um, pediatrics, from time to time, meron kayong mga OB, lahat. So, doon parang uh, war zone. <laughs> Talagang lahat, lahat may experience mo, lahat gagawin mo. And sa totoo lang, mas marami pa ako na-handle na critical patient doon kaysa dito. Although, it's it's just my fifth week. Pero, yun. Kaya minsan, nag-pick up pa rin ako ng isa o dalawang chef para at least mahasa pa rin yung, yung knowledge and then the skills. So, once again guys, my name is Arthur Parks. And please subscribe to my channel and see you on my next video. Bye!